Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I get my BT art box nails to look like acrylic and this is like a super duper important part. So first things first, this video is going to be really really quick, it's just going to be to show you guys how I prep and how I apply the nails, that way you guys can follow along and do the same thing too. So you want to get the nails out, um, pick whatever design you want to do, I love this French tip so I'm going to go ahead and use those. First things first, you want to push back your cuticles. When you do that, you give yourself enough room to clean out any excess cuticles so that you can have a nice adherence to the nail. Now I'm going to go in with the mini pink sanding band and it's in the 280 grip. And what you want to go ahead and do is go around your cuticle area and clean up all of the oiliness from your nail plate. And you want to go on the speed of 10 rpms or less because you can create rings of fire you have to remember that you only have a hundred layers um on your nail so you don't want to over file it you just want to lightly go on it and buff it and clean out anything that's on the nail so that your nails can have good adhesion so after i do that i'm going to go ahead and dust off any excess just whatever dust is on the nail you want to just get that off and then I just go in and just clean up my natural nails a bit just round them off that way I don't have any excess lifting you want to kind of treat your nails like you're prepping for an acrylic set in my opinion that's what make my nails last a long time and I don't have any lifting and I don't damage my nails so that's something that I think you guys should take into consideration. So after I go ahead and do that, you want to go ahead and cleanse and dehydrate the nail. So I go in with some alcohol. You can also use Swipe by Not Polish. If you have acetone, you can also use that. It just depends on what you got at home. Okay, okay. But you want to make sure the nail plate is completely dry. Now I'm going to size the nails. And this is a very important step. When you're sizing the nails, you wanna kind of fit it onto your cuticle. And then after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and shape the nail to my cuticle. So as you guys can see, that does not look like natural or anything. I'm just sizing them and trying to get a nice fit on it. But look here, I'm pressing the nails flat to fit my nail bed. Now some people might not have to do this, but if you do have a wider nail plate, you should. And this is an important step, you guys. I'm shaping the cuticle to fit my natural cuticle because it's really square and mine is rounded. So as you guys can see, I'm shaping it as I go and then making sure it fits and feels nice. Look at that. You see that? That looks crazy. It doesn't look natural. It does not give. It's going to pop off if you don't get a nice fit to your natural cuticle area. So you just want to like lightly go around your cuticle and you want to make sure that you shape it to the shape of your cuticle so if you have square cuticles you can keep it square if you have rounded cuticles then you basically go ahead on the nail and round off that cuticle area and this is going to make a huge difference in how your nails look and it's just going to give acrylic it's going to give flush and it's going to look nice but look at that y'all I'm doing the same thing, just fitting it, looking at it, making sure that it looks good because look at that. You can see the huge difference between how it's placed on my cuticle after I shaped it versus how it looked before. So that's one of the key things. Now I'm going to go in with some Protein Bond, you guys, by Young Nails. And this is going to be so that I can have like really good adhesion. Me personally, I keep my BT Art Box nails on for two weeks, but if... I wanted to keep them for like a month they would definitely last because of how I prep so if you're somebody who doesn't want to keep on redoing your nails you want to make sure you prep good so I'm going in with the Betty Cora 8 in 1 nail gel y'all it has so many different things that you can do with it application wise I absolutely love it they sent me some products a year ago and y'all I've been just addicted you can find them on Amazon um, so first things first I go ahead and apply some of the builder gel to the false nail then I just swipe a layer onto my natural nail and I just feel like this causes me to have less bubbles and make sure that I cover and coat my whole entire nail because I do have a wider nail plate and this just seems to work best for me so then I gently press it 
and then cure and I make sure that it's secure on there and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same steps continuously on all of the nails so y'all this is the first part to having a nice nail set and I wanted to make this video short so that you guys can just see how I take my time during the prep and during the application to give me the look that I want and if you guys want to see more I'm gonna upload a part two on how I customize the nails and make them look like acrylic so I decided to split this up in different segments because I feel like each segment has an importance within itself and some people like to rush through and they don't really understand like why my nails don't look like hers y'all this part is very very important this is just me applying the nail tips and me doing a little bit of work to them but this makes a world of a difference if you're trying to save some money girl and you still want your nails to look nice and natural and flush this is the way to go but i'll be designing the nails and fixing them up in part two see you guys tomorrow bye